Is Rick Ware Racing now officially done with Jensen Button? During his last race, Jensen forgot to start the engine of his car. Not a good start to his comeback. You can imagine that Rick Ware Racing was not happy with this mistake. That's right, even with all the expectations that came with his signing to Rick Ware Racing, he made a rookie mistake like this. But don't worry, we'll be discussing all the details about how his debut went. Did he manage to recover from his setback and show his true potential? Stick around and find out. Jensen Button is a retired British racing car driver who competed in Formula One from 2000 to 2017. He won the Formula One World Championship in 2009 while driving for the Braun GP team. Throughout his career, Button competed for several teams, including Williams, Benetton, Renault, Barr, Honda, McLaren, and finally, Williams again before retiring. He's widely regarded as one of the most talented and successful drivers of his generation and is known for his smooth driving style and intelligent race strategies. After a long hiatus from the racing world, Jensen Button has decided to make a comeback. However, this time, he's chosen to compete in NASCAR rather than Formula One. Rick Ware Racing saw this as a golden opportunity and signed him up for the 2023 NASCAR season. With 18 years of experience and skills honed from his time in Formula One, fans and Rick Ware Racing alike were eagerly anticipating what he could bring to the table. However, Jensen soon realized that NASCAR and Formula One are completely different ballgames, each with its own set of unique challenges. As a result, his debut performance fell short of expectations. Nonetheless, Jensen faced unexpected challenges and worked hard to overcome them proving that he's still a formidable driver despite the transition to a new racing series. When Jensen Button started practicing in NASCAR cars, he quickly realized he's in for a wild ride. These cars are nothing like the ones he's driven before in Formula One. He knew that he would have to face a whole new set of challenges, but he was determined to rise to the occasion. As his debut approached, Jensen Button couldn't help but feel a mix of emotions. He admitted, I mean, first of all, I was a little bit anxious but excited at the same time. It's understandable. After all, making a comeback in a new racing series can be a nerve-wracking experience, even for a seasoned driver like Jensen. Nonetheless, he was excited and eager to prove himself in NASCAR. However, things didn't go as planned for Jensen. When he first got into the car for a practice race, he didn't even know how to start the engine. Can you believe it? This might sound unbelievable, but Jensen himself admitted to the press that this was the case before making his debut. He said, I forgot how to start the car, which was interesting. So they pushed the car back and I'm like, it won't start. There were a few other switches I had to put up, but then it was okay. I got onto the circuit and I was surprised by how little grip there was initially when I pulled away and the tires were cold, but it comes to you over time. Jensen Button's challenges didn't end when he finally managed to start the car. As he attempted to put the car into gear, he quickly realized there was yet another obstacle in his path. That's right, the gearbox was a whole new challenge for him to overcome. It was nothing like what he was used to in Formula One. He said, The gearbox shifting is something that I've not ever driven a sequential gearbox car. I've never pulled back going through the gears and pushed to go down. It's something completely new to learn. I've driven a manual gearbox, but you always go across the box. Last time I drove a gearbox like this was in like 1999. There's a lot that you go back into the bank of info you've learned over the years and you bring it out again. But Jensen is not one to back down from a challenge. He tackled the issue head-on, determined to get the hang of this new gearbox as quickly as possible. His grit and determination are truly awe-inspiring. Jensen Button's transition to NASCAR has been full of surprises, some good and some not so good. But amidst all the challenges, he's discovered a few new things that he absolutely loves. For instance, during his lengthy Formula One career, he never encountered the concept of spotters. However, in NASCAR, spotters play a key role in helping drivers navigate the twists and turns of the track. Button got his first taste of this at the NASCAR CODA practice session, and he was blown away by how helpful it was. It just goes to show that no matter how experienced you are, there's always something new to learn in the racing world. He said, So I've got guys in my ear the whole way around telling me there's traffic behind, there's traffic in front. It's quite soothing. I kind of like it. Our spotters have very soothing voices, which I think is good, and it's especially going to be good on Sunday when it's raving out there. That's something else to learn having my mirrors so I can see around me. But they tell me all the fun information about what's going on around me. Now, let's talk about his debut race. He started in 24th position, but with his continuous effort, he managed to fluctuate in the top 20s all time. He had some difficulties, but managed to finish at the 18th position at the end. At one point, he was in 15th position, but couldn't hold on. At the end, he managed to finish 18th. Jensen Button's debut race in NASCAR was eagerly anticipated by fans and industry insiders alike. Starting in the 24th position, 
He faced an uphill battle to make his way to the front of the pack, but with his characteristic determination and effort, he managed to fluctuate in the top 20 throughout the race. Of course, he faced his fair share of difficulties along the way, but that didn't deter him from pushing forward. At one point, he even managed to climb as high as 15th position, an impressive feat for a newcomer. Though he couldn't sustain that position, he ultimately finished strong in 18th. It was a solid performance for his first race in NASCAR, but he faced a lot of challenges. Jensen Button's debut race in NASCAR wasn't without its challenges. The intense racing alone was enough to push him to his limits. But to make matters worse, he was driving an enclosed stock car with temperatures outside reaching above 80 degrees Fahrenheit. As a result, he found himself struggling with heat exhaustion and was in real danger of retiring from the race. But Button is nothing if not determined, and he refused to let the heat defeat him. Instead, he soldiered on, pushing through the discomfort and managing to finish the race in a respectable 18th position. He said, It was so hot. I don't have a fan in my seat, which really didn't help me too much. It was so hot, I thought I was going to faint in the car. So I stopped twice for a minute. They put ice on me, gave me loads of water, and I went back out. I was so close to getting out of the car because I thought I was going to faint. I must have drank eight or nine bottles of water during the race. The team kept me calm, and it's the reason why we got a good result in the end, so I was happy. Jensen Button's first race in NASCAR was a real challenge for him, and he recently admitted he wasn't able to fully enjoy the experience because of all the obstacles he faced along the way. He said, I have to say I enjoyed about 60% of the race. 40% of it felt a bit silly with the amount we were hitting each other. In turn one, I would have an inch overlap and get whacked. Luckily, it didn't spin me around, and on the exit, I gave him a big whack back. The revenge is enjoyable, but there's points where it feels like we could do better. The action's amazing, don't get me wrong. As Jensen prepares for his upcoming race, the big question on everyone's mind is how he'll perform after his challenging debut in NASCAR. Some might wonder if his team, Rick Ware Racing, will be disappointed with his performance and decide to part ways with him. But others believe that Button has what it takes to bounce back and prove his worth as a NASCAR driver. Only time will tell what the future holds for him, and we'll be eagerly watching as he takes on his next challenges on the track. That's it for today, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.